Hi, I'm Stephen Pinot, President of 21st Century Gunfighter. And I'm Steve Aaron, Director of Training at the U.S. Shooting Academy. And I was approached by Stephen a few months ago when we were doing a little training video up here. And um, we had talked about possibly doing a video comparing all the different muzzle devices that are currently on the market. In the times since he came up here, we've kind of been busy and done different things. We thought, okay, well, we've got to get, you know, we've got to get this done. This is, this is something that needs to happen. So we took what we had accumulated so far and um, went ahead and just said, let's do it. We'll learn from whatever we need to adjust on and accumulate some more muzzle brakes and go from there. You know, guys, one of the biggest problems that we see out there in the community is consumers have a really difficult time finding a real apples to apples objective comparison between all the different types of muzzle devices that are out there, whether they be muzzle brakes, compensators, or flash hiders. So what we did, Steve and I came up with a, with a test that really put all these different types of muzzle devices to use in what we think is the most practical, relevant, and realistic way possible. And that really encompasses the ways that these muzzle devices will most likely be used by real shooters. This is a test that's by shooters for shooters. And what we're really looking at is a set of tests that are going to measure all these compensators by the same shooter under this using the same ammo under the same circumstances on the same day. This isn't a scientific comparison, but it's as close as we're going to get. Let's look first at the SJC Titan. This muzzle brake has gained a lot of notoriety for really helping to tame muzzle rise and felt recoil, but really has become infamous for its side concussion. You typically see this a lot in the three gun circles, and it's not really thought of as being much of a tactical compensator. But as far as its intended purpose goes, it is very effective in that regard. Yeah, the SJC Titan is a, it really is an amazing brake. Um, it was actually developed by one of the USSA instructors, Eric Lund, um, and you know, surprisingly enough, during the test, we found that it actually did surprisingly well at night. Although it does have the very loud side concussion and in a side prone position, we noticed a, a, a pretty large amount of debris being kicked up. Um, really at night, it fared very well for being a three-port break. So um, all around, it, it, it's a great break for three-gun. Um, just you'll realize once you shoot it or once somebody shoots it beside you what it's infamous for. The FSC 5.56 was developed by Primary Weapon Systems, intended to be a combination between a compensator and a flash suppressor, as noted by the ports here on the side to help reduce recoil and muzzle climb, as well as the prongs in the front to help reduce the flash and night signature of the weapon. Yeah, the, the, uh, the FSC 5.56 was actually really good at um, muzzle climb and the night signature. It was really impressive, really strong competitor. Uh, one thing to be noted is it's also able to be uh, adapted to a suppressor, so they make a, a model that uh, will fit a suppressor over. So that's a, a strong point as well if noise is a big issue for you. So great, um, great device. I was really impressed overall. It was one of the few competitors that worked well in a wide variety of positions, both on auto, uh, semi, and in the nighttime. So uh, it was a great compensator indeed. The Yankee Hill Phantom Flash Hider is one of the best at hiding night signature and reducing the flash. Um, another great key point about this flash hider is the fact that the price point is only about 35 bucks. It does have a larger base here which helps reduce the amount of dust you kick up on the prone position. So if reducing your flash is something that's really important to you, then this is a device you need to consider. It's important to understand, however, that while the Yankee Hill is excellent at reducing muzzle flash and really hiding your nighttime signature, you have to remember that it is a flash hider. It is, not, it is not intended to help reduce recoil or tame muzzle rise in any way. So while it is great at helping to conceal that, that muzzle flash, 
you have to remember you're really not gaining any sort of controllability when it comes to semi-automatic or fully automatic fire.